Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Ahoshab, Bashim, Rakha, Kadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Mill, Sonny, Tom, and Truth, and peace, blessings, and citations to the hopeful elect. And um, yeah, man, I found this video of um, this VR nuclear explosion, and I thought it would be a good lesson, to be honest. It's like almost two minutes, but <clears throat> I'll let it play. You see that <laughs> that that force of wind <clears throat> that is literally the hot um hot concentrated or shall I say compressed air and that's going to sweep across Babylon, destroying buildings in its path, man. <clears throat> like it mentions in um I think it's Jeremiah 50, 51 and 1, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> it says, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon, or America, and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind, and I will send to Babylon fanners, and that, that shall fan her, and shall empty her land, for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. Going into those other nations, man. That are going to be gathered around Babylon to shoot those intercontinental ballistic missiles. And um, the destroying wind, like you just saw, <clears throat> that's just a part of um, the stages of a detonation of a nuclear warhead. That's just the first stage. That this, that that um, <clears throat> that com compressed hot air. <clears throat> but um yeah those other nations are going to be gathered around Babylon to destroy it. Um I know it's down here. <clears throat> Jeremiah fifty and you know what? Let me start at twenty-five. It says the Lord have opened his armory and the armories where the weapons are kept, and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation being those intercontinental blessing missiles, for this is the work of the Lord God of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans, <clears throat> under the name given to America, because of the sorcery and witchcraft and the enchantments. It says, Come against her from the almost border, upon her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly, let nothing of her be left. Slay all her bullocks, let them go down to the slaughter, warn unto them, for their days come, the time of their visitation. <clears throat> it says, The voice of them that flee and escape. Out of the land of Babylon to, to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God, the vengeance of his temple. Call together the archers against Babylon. And yeah, those archers are those other nations. The main one being um, Russia, <clears throat> or the spirit of the king of the Medes, or the Medes, like he makes mention in um, Isaiah and also Jeremiah 51, and I think verse 11. Yeah. <clears throat> it says, um, cause together the archers against the Babylon or America, all ye that bend the bow, so all those that have nuclear capability, camp against it round about, let none thereof escape, recompense her according to her work, according to that according to all that she have done, do unto her, for she have been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. So yeah, man. <clears throat> I don't even play that man because that was exciting man. Imagine this in real life.
as you can see, the mushroom cloud is going to form right before our eyes. Man. See the mushroom clouds taking form, man. And yeah, man, this is what the schizer was talking about. Um <clears throat> like a skull rolled together. Wait, let me see if I can find it. Um, Revelation. I think it's 6 and 11. Or maybe it's 13. Yeah, for Revelation 6 and 13, it says, And the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll, when it is rolled together. And this is the scroll... This is the scroll that's being rolled together, man. <clears throat> and it says, um, he and heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and islands were moved out of their places. And yeah, man, that's going to be because, that's going to be because of, um, the, all those nuclear missiles hitting the earth, man. Cause like it makes mention in, um, Revelation 9 and, um, <clears throat> 16 it says and the number of the arm of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand and i heard the number of them and yeah man this is going into the army of the nuclear missiles man because because when they get fired off it's going to look like um you know like braveheart where all those horses and the riders were sitting up on the horses in the line and then when braveheart said charge they all ran together that's how the missiles are going to look like, man. Charging together and flying together. <clears throat> and it says, And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jasmine and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were the heads of lions, going into the warheads. And the reason why it's compared unto being as the head of a lion is because, like the lion, the power is in its mouth, man, and the bite force. And just like these nuclear missiles, the power is in its head, which which is literally the warhead, and out of the out of its mouth comes the fire, smoke, and brimstone <coughs> when it's detonated. And it says, um, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone, and yeah, man, that's going to be the fire that comes out of these intercontinental ballistic missiles from the the warheads, man. <coughs> and like Joel said, man. Like Joel said it, he literally saw, he saw the same thing as um as John, but uh, he read it in a different way. And let me see if I can bring this up. Um, <laughs> yeah, so like it says um. For their power is in their mouth, going into the the warheads where the fire issues out of, and it says and in their tails. <clears throat> so the power is in their mouth and in their tails, and let, let's see what Joel said. A fire devoured before them. So that's the warheads when the war when the warhead um hits the land. That's when the fire comes out, just like John said. The power's in its mouth. <clears throat> Wait, did it say mouth or tail? It says, um, yeah, for the power's in their mouth, yeah. So that's what Joel's talking about when he says, um, the fire's a fire devoured before them. And behind them a flame burneth. And like John said, <clears throat> and in their tails, the power's in their mouth and in their tails. And like Joel said, man, and behind them a flame burneth, that same fire, which causes the missiles to fly, man. So Joel and John literally saw the same thing. 
but Joel goes into um to, into more detail. It says the land is as the God of Eden before them. So yeah, the signs of life and inhabitants, man. <clears throat> and it says behind them a desolate wilderness. Yeah, nothing shall escape them. And yeah, <laughs> when those missiles hit, and you gotta remember, there's two hundred million of them, and um, that's a lot of missiles to uh, hit America, man. <laughs> and that's why the Earth is going to shake and quake, man. And it says, um, the prince of them is as the prince of horses, and as horsemen shall shall they run. And just like John said, um. I think it's Andosa saw the horses in the vision. <clears throat> yeah, like, like John said, um, and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jasmine from brimstone and the heads of the horses was the heads of lions and now their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. <clears throat> and actually, I think I'm on verse 16. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I can remember it. So I don't lose my place in the book of Joel. Nope. Maybe I'll just scroll down. It's probably down here. Yeah, here we go. Revelation 19 and 16, it says, And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000. I heard a number of them. And then what did Joel say? The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses and a, and horsemen, so shall they run. So yeah, man, Joel and John was talking about the nuclear missiles, man. But, um, carry on with the, with the mushroom cloud. And yeah, man, carrying on with the mushroom cloud, um, like it makes mention in um, Revelation 6 and 14. Who is that, man? So lucky I was interrupted by my little brother. He doesn't really know what's going on. He's autistic, so I'm not going to say anything. But... Carrying on, like I was going into um, the mushroom cloud. Like it makes mention in Revelation 6 and 14, it says, And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and islands were moved out of their places. And that's going to be because of um, the 200 million nuclear missiles that are going to be hitting the earth. It's going to cause the earth to quake and shake. And um, let me go to um, Isaiah. 13 and 13 it says um therefore i will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger just like it made mention in revelation 6 and 11 <clears throat> let me get it again see and it says um and heaven departed as a scroll when it's rolled together, and every mountain and islands were moved out of their places. And just just like he mentioned, makes mention here, Isaiah 13 and 13. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth, shall remove out of their place, and the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and the day of his fierce anger. I'm going into the nuclear missiles, man. Because, like he makes mention, um, Isaiah 13 and 5, it says, They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. And the weapons of the Lord's indignation is um, <clears throat> the intercontinental ballistic missiles. Like it mentions in Isaiah 54 and um, 16. Um, <clears throat> it says, Behold, I have created a smith that blows the coals on the fire. And that Smith is talking about his, all the, um, those German scientists. Some went to America and some went to Russia. Hence why they've got the better intercontinental ballistic missiles and the better warheads. 
And yeah, it's basically talking about the scientists that make the the, the missiles. And it says, I'm that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. I've created a waster to destroy. So yeah, man. That's the intercontinental of ballistic missile. And like it mentions, like it makes mentioning the name. Continental. These missiles are long range. They can be fired from one continent to another. So like it makes mention in verse 5, they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation, to destroy the whole land. And that's what the intercontinental ballistic missiles are going to do, man. Just like it makes mention in um, Jeremiah 50 and 25, which talks about the Lord opening up the armory. And let me get that. It says, the Lord hath opened his armor and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord God of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. So yeah, man. And carrying on. It says, how you for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid, pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. And yeah, man, when these people see the missiles coming, some of them might just <laughs> have a heart attack, man. Because I remember, I came downstairs and, um, and on the radio, this Edomite was talking about um, having Eli had a heart attack from receiving um, that, emergency, that emergency system broadcast message, which, where it basically said to him, he was on Hawaii, like on the on the land there, and um, he received that message saying that missiles are heading towards Hawaii, and it was it was just it was basically a test, and in the interview he said that he nearly had a heart attack, man, from here from literally reading those words. So imagine when the people see it, man, with their own eyes. And it says, "Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners that are out of it." So yeah, man, the land of Babylon. Is going to leave it uninhabitable, <clears throat> and those sinners being um those that have taken the implants, the one that goes in the hand and the one that goes in the head, man. And it says, for the stars of heaven and the constellation to run shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened and is going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Going into those mushroom clouds, man. They're going to cover the heavens, like you saw in the video. Look how. Look how high it is, man. Look how high the mushroom cloud is, man. It reached all the way up into the heavens. So imagine 200 million nuclear missiles or warheads being detonated, man, at the same time, one after the other. <clears throat> it's going to block out the sun, man, or the stars or the moon. They won't, they won't be able to shine and shine down, man, because of the, the thick smoke billowing from... The ground up to, all the way up to the heavens, man. The, the rays of the sun will be able to pass through. And not only that, but it also makes um, makes mention of um, how the earth shall rule to and fall like a drunkard. <clears throat> Another reason why the um, the earth and all the islands are going to remove out of their places. <clears throat> this is Isaiah 24 and 20. It says... The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. And basically, like a drunk like a drunk person, they'll be staggering from left to right. They, they can't walk straight. And it said, shall be drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. And, a, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it. And it shall fall and not rise again. And yeah, America is going to fall and not rise again. Man, it's going to be left uninhabitable. Like it makes mention in Jeremiah 50 and... Um, you know, I need to find it. Because I don't I don't know exactly where it is, but... Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> um, you know, let me start at Jeremiah 15, 34. It says, The Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. Yehovah Shem HaMashiach. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. I saw this upon the Chaldeans, it saith the Lord. And upon the inhabitants of Babylon, and upon her princes, and upon her wise men. I saw this upon the liars, and they shall dote. I saw this upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. 
And yeah, man, he talks about how all the men of war of um, Babylon is going to be cut off, man. I think it's in Jeremiah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> Jeremiah 50 and 30. Where the yeah, Jeremiah 50 and 30. Like I makes mention, therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, save the Lord. Because, yeah, man, they're going to be utterly destroyed, man. <laughs> but carrying on, it says, um, I saw this upon their horses and upon their chariots, and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her, and they shall become as a woman, and the sword is upon her treasures. And they shall be robbed. I dry this upon her waters, and they shall be dried up, for it is the land of graven images, and they are mad upon their idols. And here and here's the <clears throat> the part I was talking about um Babylon basically not being inhabited anymore, but it's going to be left desolate. It says, Therefore the wild beasts of the desert with the wild beasts of the island shall dwell there, and the owl shall dwell therein. And it shall be no more inhabited forever, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. We know we did that with fire and brimstone. And it says, And the neighboring cities thereof serve the Lord, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. So there you go, man. <clears throat> Babylon is going to be left desolate after this third world war, man. And the spirit of the king of the Medes is going to do it, basically, the Russians. Like it makes mention here. Um, you know what? Let me start. Um, Jeremiah 51 and 7. It said, Babylon have been on golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of our wine, basically the, the philosophies of America. Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain? If so, be she may be healed. And yet, balm is... um. Is a, it's like a thing you put on to, to heal someone. Like to say if they have a wound, you put balm over it and it will basically cover the wound. You can think of balm as a, um, as a bandage in a sense. And it says, um, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. The Lord have brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare and design the work of the Lord our God. Make bright the arrows and gather the shields. The Lord have raised up the spirit of the king of the Medes going into Russia. And it says, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it. Because it is the vengeance of the Lord. The vengeance of his temple. So yeah man, the Lord's going to repay Babylon by way of leaving it uninhabitable. By turning it into a complete desert, a complete wasteland, like he makes mention in um Joel two and three, it talks about um um after the after the warheads have hit or the missiles have hit, um it's a desolate wilderness, and yeah man, and that's gonna come way by of those intercontinental ballistic missiles, but um yeah man, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shai, and Shalom.